If city DPW crews thought hauling away their possessions yesterday would keep the homeless away from their encampment, they were wrong. As always, they were back today under the bridges of routes 81 and 690, seeking shade from the heat. Last week, the owner of nearby Smith Restaurant Supply renewed the controversy when he claimed that the city needs a better approach to deal with the homeless. As Syracuse continues to grapple with its homeless problem, City Hall is putting out an advisory. Don't give money to panhandlers. Kevin Brady is among the panhandlers you see on street corners with a sign asking for money. We're not banging on windows, we're not causing trouble, we clean up after ourselves. You know, and it's, it's, I don't know, if people want to give, they'll give. If not, they just drive on by. Brady told me he's a husband and father who fell on hard times dealing with a substance abuse problem, and now he has no place to live. You know, if you give money to panhandlers, they quite often the money goes into drugs or some other... Uh, that's not true at all. That's not true? That's not true. It's not, actually, most of it goes to, to food. I mean, I know some of them do, but... Most of the money does not go towards drugs. Last year, the rescue mission found permanent housing for 512 people who may otherwise end up on the streets of Syracuse. Alan Thornton says the problem is multifaceted and complicated, but should people follow the city's advice not to give money to panhandlers? Thornton says that's entirely up to you. I always encourage people, roll down the window, talk to them, find out how they're doing, find out what their name is, because these are human beings. But even among clients at the rescue mission, there's disagreement over the city's advisory. A person on the street that really needs something, I think it's, it's okay. If you, if you make your own decision to give your own money away, it's all right. Yeah. But this man, Don, he would not give me his last name, says your money would often go toward drugs, mainly heroin. He says Syracuse needs better treatment centers. I think that if there was another methadone maintenance clinic opened up, that it would uh, take a good percentage of the panhandlers off the street. As for Kevin Brady, during the 20 minutes we witnessed his panhandling, drivers gave him about six dollars. One donated a pack of cigarettes and another gave him a can of beer. Reporting from Syracuse, I'm Jim Kenyon.